Yes, and we are back. Yes, who's back? It's very more on every social media platform. Very more says is my name, just in case you meet me in the streets out there. Uh, why in the morning is the name of the show, and Entrepreneurship Tuesday is the theme of the day. And today is the second day of Christmas. That is right, Alex, right? Uh, <laughs> today is the second uh, of uh, the third of December, rather, and this is the third day of Christmas. And how are you celebrating your Christmas? We have a question on Facebook for you, and the question is: How much do you spend traveling during the festive season, and is it worth it? We are going to be sampling the, the your feedback towards the end of the show, but until then, let's get a taste a taste of Beldenes uh, delicacies. Karibu sana. Thank you. All right, so you are the CEO and founder of Beldinas uh, Delicacies. That's right. And you brought uh, something for us to taste here. Before that, you can introduce yourself. My name is Beldin Kerito, the uh -huh. director of Beldinas Delicacies, uh -huh. the founder and uh -huh. the CEO. The founder and the CEO of Beldinas uh, Delicacies. All right, so Beldinas Delicacies is like uh, three years old now? Yes. Three years old? Yeah. And uh, before Beldinas Delicacies, you were still baking for your family, for your loved ones? Yes. All right. I used to bake um, cupcakes for uh -huh. my families, uh -huh. and I was so passionate about it. Uh -huh. I thought, it, why not take it to a uh, higher level uh -huh. and then share with friends and relatives all right yeah wonderful so it started out as you uh, being the person that brings cups cupcakes uh, to family functions uh, you you offer people cupcakes when they visit yes. and then you said i can turn this to a business yes what people don't know about you that you're a person who impacts knowledge as well you teach yes i am a teacher not only do you teach people how to bake yes you also teach students english literature uh, in school yes all right, I'd like to know, I'd like to take you back to, to campus. Uh, when you were studying education, is this the course that you, that you chose to, to study first? No, actually, um, I did education, mm -hmm. that is English and literature. Mm -hmm. Then, um, and I taught for one year. Mm -hmm. After one year of teaching, I thought, I, I thought with my passion, mm -hmm. passion in baking mm -hmm. and passion in entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. why not uh, take it to a, uh, why not, uh, get involved in the baking business. Mm -hmm. You find before even I started baking, I was so passionate about business. Mm -hmm. You find in campus, mm -hmm. I also used to do business in mm -hmm. campus. Uh -huh. Yes. What was your drive? Were you coming from a humble background, so you needed to fill in the the, the gaps that your parents can fill, or you were just motivated by uh, by financial freedom? <clears throat> Actually, I was. Uh, yeah, that's true. I came from a humble background. Uh -huh. Yeah, and. Um, you find I'm not uh, this kind of person who is comfortable with average kind of life. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I'm you not don't this look average anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm not this kind of person uh -huh. who will, uh, who like uh, begging or uh -huh. boring. Uh -huh. So I thought, why not uh, try to get something that can keep me going in campus? Uh -huh. You know, at times life can be hard in campus. Uh -huh. So I not at times. It's always hard in campus. <laughs> all, yeah, it's uh -huh. al always hard. Uh -huh. So I always had something to do and to boost me and. Mm. Uh, uh, my campus mates used to think that I come from a very rich background because uh -huh. my lifestyle, of course, could tell it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I used to get the best weaves in the market. Uh -huh. Yeah, Back in campus then. I could wear a weave worth uh -huh. 5,000. Uh -huh. yeah. And that is not easy in campus. Yes. And this is off the business that you were doing. Yes. You started uh, making money and learning. How, how did you learn uh, financial literacy? Because I'm thinking at campus, you're 18, 19, and you're already saving money. You already know how to invest in your health. Uh, you, know, you already know how to, to prepare for the future and all that. How did you manage to get this financial uh, literate? I think, um, for me, I love reading books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, first it was that intrinsic motivation. Then uh, just reading books. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for me, I'm this kind of person. I'm so passionate and a go getter. Whatever mm -hmm. I want, it's just from within. Uh -huh. Whatever I want, I just go for it. All right. Yeah. I love this so much. Uh, so as we speak, you are a teacher and you balance uh, your business in teaching, uh, teaching high school. <clears throat> All right. Do you have friends in the corporate world that uh, also do the, uh, follow their passion on the side? Yeah, I have, uh -huh. uh, I can't say there are not many. They're not many. Yeah, because... Um, so many people are caught up with the hustle and bustle of a 95, yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Though for me, I'm able to balance because what have I did, mm -hmm. once I got the skill, mm -hmm. I ensured I've empowered other people. Mm -hmm. I also believe in empowering other people mm -hmm. and creating business um, um, job opportunity for other people. Mm -hmm. Like actually in our bakery, we have 10 em employees in mm -hmm. total right now. Mm -hmm. So what I've done, I've empowered them. Whenever I get a skill, mm -hmm. I make sure they're well empowered right. and the business can just run on its own. Right. Actually, I can even take like two weeks uh -huh. without stepping into the business uh -huh. and it's running because I've empowered people. You have empowered people and empowering yeah. people is the way to go uh-huh taking you back uh you've decided you want to start this business did you have a strategy or you just said let me just wing it and see what comes out of it actually to just speak the truth mm -hmm. i just i did have a strategy mm -hmm. I, de I just decided let me just start small actually mm -hmm. i started very small mm -hmm. with my house oven mm -hmm. and a little uh, sorry a small hand mixer mm -hmm. yeah that's how i started and just like that the business bloomed of course with a lot of air effort mm -hmm. with a lot of aggressiveness with mm -hmm. a lot of marketing mm -hmm. actually i was overwhelmed because mm -hmm. i started in october 2016. Mm -hmm. i remember my first cake i did was mm -hmm. for my cousin mm -hmm. he was celebrating his uh, fourth birthday mm -hmm. and uh, when i did that uh, cake mm -hmm. that was my first cake i did and i posted it on your Facebook. social media officially yes. if you want cakes you can order from the yes. dinners uh, and i must say by december i was overwhelmed uh -huh. had to get someone to assist me because uh -huh. by december i had done over 40 birthday cakes what do you attribute yes. this to word of mouth uh, or aggressive marketing online um word of mouth mm -hmm. aggressive marketing online i'm very social mm -hmm. whenever i go even mm -hmm. when i go to a banking hall mm -hmm. as the teller serves me i'm mm -hmm. telling her about my business uh -huh. yeah you know i bake cakes uh -huh. uh, where if you need cakes you just need to call me and uh -huh. deliver you're yeah. always marketing yes i'm always uh, marketing. all right uh, when you compare this face-to-face -face marketing when you meet people and tell them i do this i can offer this and that and posting online which one do you think is most e most effective actually i can say all of them are equally effective mm -hmm. yeah all right. Yes. You, 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 all of them are brought business to you. Yes. All right. Let's get a taste. Uh, before we get the actual taste right here, let's get a taste of what you do on your Instagram. And the pictures are amazing. Who takes your pictures first? Um, I do. You take the pictures yourself? Yes. And I also have a photographer. Mm -hmm. He's a Kelvin Kibiu. Mm -hmm. So like for the weddings, he comes in handy to mm -hmm. take them. Yeah. This is actually a cake we did yesterday for our priest. This was, is yesterday? Yes. For our priest who was celebrating his second anniversary, mm -hmm. priestly anniversary, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, we brought this concept of uh, the altar mm -hmm. and our priest uh, offering the sacrifice of holy mass. Mm -hmm. We also, besides cakes, we also make sauces. Mm -hmm. The ones that you can see, we make sauces for our cakes, mm -hmm. filling. Yeah, you see, in a cake, you have to have filling. Mm -hmm. So we do sauces. So these are fruit based sauces? Yes. All right. Natural. Natural fruit based sauces. Yes. Do you think I can uh, I can have the sauces with bread? Yes, you can. The sauce, the things I can have with bread. Yes. What kind of flavors do you have? We have blueberry, uh -huh. our signature. Uh -huh. We have strawberry, uh -huh. raspberry. Uh -huh. We have uh, blackberry. Blueberry, blackberry, strawberry, strawberry, and raspberry. Raspberry. Yes. Just kia fruits za za wakamba. Just kia fruits za wakisi pale. So with time, actually, right. we just started. Uh -huh. With time, we're also going to have the same. We might have a, a mango sauce right yes. there, a banana sauce. Yeah. Uh, which fruit is like, which kind of fruit? <laughs> because for us, we are looking at unique sauces. Uh -huh. um, unique sauces that at least are not just common or easy mm -hmm. to find. Because right. we want it to be unique. Uh, I'd like to take you back to that uh, cake, uh, the priest cake, the altar cake. Everything is edible on that cake. Everything is edible, including the priest. Including the <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And don't get it twisted, please. Mm. It's the icing. <laughs> All right, I like that, I like that, I like that. All right, so uh, the books, this one was a graduation cake. Yes. Who comes up with the concept? I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just sit down. Actually, for the cakes, you first, planning, it's a job by itself. Mm -hmm. You have to plan, like... Three hours, you spend like three hours planning mm -hmm. and trying to come up with that design. At mm -hmm. times, you needed to draw mm -hmm. and see how it comes out. Uh -huh. So, it's a lot of planning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
All right, I, I, the big question is always, has a cake ever gone wrong so you had to eat it or throw it and start afresh? It happens. It happens? Yeah, it happens. All right, so these yeah. are the challenges, the you, costs of doing business. Yeah, there are challenges, of course, and mm -hmm. you just, uh, you don't get discouraged by that, uh -huh. but that encourage you and push you to work harder. All right, uh, just scroll down a bit. Uh, I, I see your squad there. That yeah. is your. Is that your squad, or this was? Uh, these are my students. These are your students. Yeah, we usually have wedding cake master class, uh -huh. and this is what uh, some of the students had done. All right. Yeah. So these, these were, are graduates. Yeah, these are graduates. We uh -huh. offer certificates after their short courses. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. What are some of the reasons people will tell you that they are trying to learn to bake? when they come to your school, uh, apart time, from business. Obviously, most of them want to start businesses. What are some of the reasons they give you? I'd like, I'd like to learn to bake because... Yeah, some for family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you find at times, uh, like the children need uh, snacks mm -hmm. to take to school. Mm -hmm. So parents would want at least to know how to bake mm -hmm. some snacks for their children. So they Ad know what their kids are eating. Yes. Mm -hmm. Others want uh, to, to just make their people happy, celebrations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that passion for people and mm -hmm. all that. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we also have uh, healthy bites. Uh -huh. This is um, oats and banana gluten-free cake. Uh -huh. No sugar. What are exactly yeah, what no I was sugar, asking no for? Gluten. Bananas are yeah. in there. All yeah, right. <laughs> bananas and oats. Bananas and, and oats. Then this is arrow root. Uh -huh. Yeah, arrow root and banana cake, gluten free as well. All right. So we also so you're have still experiment. Oh, you're yes. still experimenting with the ingredients. Uh, now for this one, had done a lot of research. Uh -huh. It's now out in the market. It's already out in the market. Yes. But you're still doing a lot of research, so we are going to be seeing different kinds of cakes. Yes. Yes. All right. So, uh, what did you say was in there? Uh, arrow root and banana. Arrow root and banana. Yes. All right. Does it taste good? Very good. Tastes good. Yes. All right. Uh, so diabetic people can eat that? Yes, uh -huh. because no sugar. All right, so it's uh, gone are the days when diabetic people go to parties and say, I can't eat cake. Yeah, gone so are the days. So if you know you, uh, you have guests and some might be diabetic, uh, you, are the, you are the person to talk to. Uh, yes. All right, what's happening here? It's a beautiful so, picture. Uh, this is a wedding cake. Actually, I was assisting cutting uh -huh. the cake uh -huh. yeah and now this is the last i'm cutting the last bit of the bottom tier all right yes the cake was so good every people eat everything yes all right <laughs> i like that they eat and, and leave asking for more <laughs> they keep asking for more yeah. how do you feel when people ask for more uh, do you feel disappointed that you didn't bring enough or you feel Not amazing because really. you did a good feel, job i feel i feel um i i feel uh, I feel satisfied mm -hmm. because by the end of the day, I know mm -hmm. that we have enjoyed the cake. Mm -hmm. uh, and like when uh, we have a cake, uh, uh, someone takes a cake to an occasion, then it's just left there. Mm -hmm. So when the cake is, uh, when people finish the cake very quickly, I mm -hmm. know they must have enjoyed it. All right. Mm -hmm. We talked about the challenges of doing business. We are going to be talking more about the business right after people get to see what you brought on in studio. Uh, she came bearing gifts and uh, this is a sample. Oh, of the cake right there. So this is a token from the building uh, delicacies, and it says, "God bless you." God bless us. Yes. <laughs> God bless you as well for doing this. Uh, but the, there's an interesting story you were sharing with me, and uh, you told me you chose to focus on cakes. Most of the times when people open bakeries. Uh, the, the, the attempt to go all the way, uh, make cakes, make bread, make uh, bagels, make donuts, make everything that comes with, uh, with flour. But you chose to go the cake way. Why exactly? This is because for me, I chose to specialize in cakes only. Mm -hmm. This is because I want to give it my best, even mm -hmm. when I'm doing my research. Because for you to just remain in the market mm -hmm. and keep on scaling the heights mm -hmm. you really have to do a lot of research mm -hmm. you really have to do short courses mm -hmm. and now i found with the cake i just want to specialize mm -hmm. to give the best all right yeah and uh when you were starting it was a bakery now it's a school yes. transitioning from a, from bakery to incorporating a school that it that means the business is growing that means you need to scale up what were some of the challenges that came with it and what are some of the things you learned in the process of scaling up your business uh, some of the challenges were, um, like, um, of course, finances. Mm -hmm. yeah, you find now, uh, the business, is, uh, we started it as a small, just a business at home. Mm -hmm. Now you find now, 
And a, um, our business, it's one business that really expanded mm -hmm. because actually people really love, love our kids. Mm -hmm. So you find you're getting orders, you're getting referrals from friends. Mm -hmm. So you find you need to expand. You need to get out of the house mm -hmm. because it's no longer in, enough for you. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, you find that this space is not big enough. Mm -hmm. You have to get a bigger space. Mm -hmm. These machines cannot hold any more. They mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. You have to get bigger ones. So it's a process. It's, it's a, a whole process. process. Yeah. It's not something you can teach somebody. Mm. Uh, this is what you do when you get to this point. This is what mm. you do when you it's get this. It's a process that you, you get, get to learn mm -hmm. things as you move. Uh -huh. And then um, you find uh, the reason as to why we expand into school, we realize they're very few schools mm -hmm. that really give the hands-on skills on baking. Mm -hmm. You find some students coming from college, they've been doing pastry years, but they can't decorate a cake nicely. Uh -huh. So we identified a gap and really wanted. Uh -huh. So everyone, and then again, for us, we don't have these secret recipes mm -hmm. we can share with people. You're not Coca-Cola. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are just open uh -huh. to empowering people. Uh -huh. I don't mind if I can't train you today. Uh -huh. Tomorrow you open a bakery next to me, uh -huh. I won't mind. Uh -huh. Because it's I believe again empowering. there is a market for everyone, there is a space for everyone. The pie is too big, we yes. can all have a piece. Yeah. All right, so empowering, empowering, empowering. Yes. You're so passionate about empowering, and you teach high school kids, and uh, I don't feel like they're taught enough uh, in preparation for the real world, because they're taught to get A's and go to campus and uh, get a job. Do you try to actually fit a, a different narrative into the into their perspective of course now me being a teacher of mm -hmm. um very bright and intelligent kids mm -hmm. what of course shout I encourage out to alliance high school by the way uh -huh. i encourage them to get those aids they're uh -huh. very important because i know they are capable of get all of them are capable of getting them but besides that i also empower them uh, in case you co or you complete campus and there is not that job mm -hmm. don't sit back and lament mm -hmm. i can't find a job or even immediately after high school you yes, can still immediately start after high school mm -hmm. yeah because some of these skills that you get by doing it yourself mm -hmm. go a long way mm -hmm. yeah so encourage them when you finish just go do short courses mm -hmm. yeah take All the right. short courses uh -huh. empower yourself make sure you can do uh -huh. something besides courses them. in line with your passion yeah courses That's in line with your passion uh -huh. and yeah. the things you love for exactly. sure how can they make their orders since we are uh <coughs> since we are in December officially and it's the season for cakes how can they get to make their orders for Raz now we have our Facebook page mm -hmm. just look them straight into the eyes right we there. have a Facebook page Beldina's Delicacies mm -hmm. you can uh, DM us mm -hmm. or call us on 0710-124-496 all right you have it uh, right there is this one of your your sauces yes this is one of the sauces which flavor is this uh we have uh, this is lemon blueberry lemon bl blueberry yeah written in chocolate uh, written in chocolate lemon blueberry yes by Be beldina's delicacies, delicacies. and yes. they can find you on facebook as you say so all right uh what is that advice you'd give to to a woman who's uh, or a lady who's watching you right now and uh she has a job she has a nine to five she'd like to start her own business on the side but she's not sure about it, about the husband maybe she's not so sure about the time she's not so sure about how she can balance with the kids she's not she's uncertain but she has a job she doesn't want to leave the job but she wants a side hustle what would you tell them your camera is number four um for me what i can tell them it's a venture it's not easy of course mm -hmm. but it's worth it it's mm -hmm. rewarding uh what you can do it's a just take a short course during your leave mm -hmm. or even during the weekend. Mm -hmm. Then make sure you empower someone or take someone to trade. Of course, you have to have the skills yourself mm -hmm. for you to be able to guide. So take a short course on baking and training. Um, empower someone mm -hmm. to help you do it. All it's right. doable. It's possible. It's doable. It's possible. It's upon you to start. Make the first step. Yes. All right, shout out, send a few shout outs to the people of you who have helped you get this far as we prepare that Facebook question, as we line up your feedback as well. <clears throat> uh -huh, for me, actually, I just can't be specific because mm -hmm. I can, I attribute this business to all my friends. Mm -hmm. They are like paid marketers. Mm -hmm. When you find my friends talking about my cakes, you'll mm -hmm. think I've paid them to do so. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I have so many, you get a post, someone has posted in Let's Cook Kenyan Meals in Baker's Club looking for a cake. Like 20 friends uh -huh. will recommend me. I really appreciate you all, my friends. Mm -hmm. I attribute the success of my business to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much and may God bless you. All right. Uh, kuna watu wanauliza kuna discount ya December season. 
special kwa wale ambao wanatutazama sasa hivi kwenye Y254 uh, wakikwambia I watched you on Y254 I'd like a cake will they get a discount before yes. we cut this yeah, <laughs> if you watching this show right mm -hmm. now you're guaranteed of six cupcakes with every cake that you order you had it straight. So make your order, make your order, make your order. The oven is not so big and December is not so long. So make your order uh, before the stocks last. All right, so it's about that time that we cut the cake. Uh, just remind them how they can make their orders again as I get a slice, as I get a taste. Yeah, you can contact us on 0710 mm -hmm. 124 mm -hmm. 496. WhatsApp, mm -hmm. we'll send you different designs for you to choose from. Uh -huh. And um, we'll give you the discounts. All right, you'll get your discount for sure. And I think we've come to the end of the show. Let's get, uh, let's share, let's share a piece, right? Yeah. Uh, let's share a piece. As we wrap this up, remember we are on social media at White54 uh, channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Hashtag is Why in the Morning. Hashtag is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And this is that day that we discuss legal tenders. We've learned a lot from uh, inter Alex, uh, Alex's interviews to my interviews. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to invite the rest of the crew to come share the cake with us. Uh, you guys come through as we wrap this up. Remember, we still have a lot lined up for you on this particular channel. Don't change it. And uh, yes, tomorrow as well why mashariki coming up next my name is by moses it's by more social media don't type that down don't go nowhere hey let's come